There are two ways to enter the projected states. The first is the natural and the second is the induced. Just like the dreaming states if you recall and the recommendations while you are doing the projected state experiments are mostly the same as those for the dreaming state experiments but uh, the pose is slightly different instead of lying down completely it is recommended that you try a half lying pose which means waist and above should be at least at an angle of 30 degrees not completely horizontal and the legs should not be crossed and the arms should be comfortably placed and the neck should not hang and the neck should be properly supported and this will ensure that uh, you do not fall asleep you do not enter the sleep state and uh, it will also ensure that the saliva from the mouth and does not drip out of the mouth it goes in the food pipe instead of coming out this can happen because uh, the body does not really enter a sleep state and the ordinary production of saliva it continues which in waking state keeps draining into the food pipe to keep it wet but uh, it can cause some problems if you are half asleep so this pose is also useful for dreaming experiments but uh, you will find that you stay awake instead of going in the dream so once you master the dreams this will be a good pose to be in you can also try it in places other than your bedroom because your bed and the bedroom is an indication to the mind that it's time to sleep so you can try it in a reclined chair or on your sofa see if you get better results there for the natural method it is a must that uh, you have practiced awareness in the waking and dreaming state because this will continue in the projected states remember that uh, the projected states are occurring every night they are very natural only that there is no awareness there is no light in these states so they are forgotten they are of no use in the waking state therefore they are not retained in any memory a uh, probably it is retained in some memory but there is no bridge between this waking memory and that memory they can be recalled under hypnosis for example but uh, that is very unreliable you want to be a witness of them in the waking state in complete awareness with complete clarity of the mind you don't want to be in hypnosis or some other weird state that is not an evidence that is you don't learn anything so we want a control we don't want to lose control that should be always kept in mind so awareness practices are a must if you naturally want to stay aware in the projected states then you will need a very strong intention if you are very loose about it you are not serious about it that means that the natural state will turn into sleep or there will be memory loss there won't be any recall intention sends a signal to the intellect that uh, these things are important for me and then the memory bridges are formed otherwise they are not sometimes some people have extraordinary natural talent and without doing much they can enter these projected states and they also have a good amount of control so if you are a natural then your talent will be enough you need to be interested in it intensely interested in it to retain any memory of it you can also use the usual methods of remembering that i discussed in the dreaming state experiments where you are naturally in the projected state but there is no awareness like it happens naturally that there is usually no awareness but you can trigger the awareness by remembering to be aware the objects and situations and thoughts they can be used to trigger the awareness in the naturally projected state which is also sometimes called the spontaneous projections because they happen even if you don't want it is a natural state so if you don't know what are these uh, tricks to trigger the awareness you should uh, go and watch the dreaming state experiments those episodes 
then if you have already mastered the dreams then the lucid dream state or the aware dream state can be used as a springboard to extend the domain of the memory and convert the dream into a projected state this is being used by many people this is probably the favorite method of many people you become aware in the dream then you just trash the dream you don't want to be in the dream you want something big and your strong intention will take you to other areas in the universal memory it's very easy you can use various commands to reach somewhere you can use rituals in the dream you can use rituals in the waking state also but that will then make the projected state uh, induce this state if you search on internet you will get many more techniques to convert the dreams into projections internet is full of these descriptions in the case of induced projected state you will also need a strong will power and strong determination strong intention otherwise you know the results the results are you enter the sleep or a dark dream by dark dream i mean the unaware dream an unaware sleep if there is no strong determination you don't take it so seriously it is not your project it is just a past time or entertainment then probably nothing will happen except one or two kind of weird kind of noises or floating sensations a seeker is not satisfied by, by that we need a full blown complete projected state otherwise you won't be able to experiment there so when you get into the pose in the case of induced projections you can use a technique and one of uh, the effective technique is to attend to the imagery behind your closed eyes the trick here is to withdraw your attention from the waking state and if you attend to the non physical imagery which you can create it is like a day dream it is like your imagination visualization it will help you to withdraw all of your attention from the waking state because you are trying to induce it and now the waking state will not be left naturally in the natural method mother nature is going to change the states for you but uh, here you are trying to control it so much that you want the state to be changed at will so withdrawing of your attention is recommended the old books will tell you that you need to be like a tortoise that withdraws its limbs and neck into the shell something like that your attention should be completely on the imagery or visualization but don't get to carried away by that don't try to create a complete story there don't shoot a movie because your intention is to project in that uh, imagery is not important so you will notice that this is exactly same as the induced uh, lucid dream method there is no difference the differences will be obvious after you enter the state not before but uh, you can find more techniques online in the books etc in the youtube videos there are thousands of videos i think you can also use the formulas or chanting or mantras to keep the thread of awareness and the memory bridge stable while trying to change the state and there there are only there are only two ways to go as far as the state is concerned either you go in the direction of the waking state or you go in the direction of the projected state there is no other way the projected state can degrade into a dream and sleep and the waking state will become a full blown waking state where you cannot now withdraw your attention you are too awake so the essential technique is keeping the awareness on while letting the attention drift into another areas in the memory you can use the rituals etc like try to imagine a bridge that takes you into the projected worlds try to imagine a door a gateway some something like this your favorite temple or a garden which is somewhere far away in the universal memory so you will be pulled into that imagery and it will become a projected state you will know surely if it is a projected state or not 
sometimes you end up in the physical areas which is okay it's not a big deal you can experiment there also experiment wherever you end up initially usually there is not much control then there are other methods like machines and drugs so in the same remarks apply which i gave you in the case of dream states the bottom line is don't do it it is not wise if you want to know why then i have explained it in detail in the dreaming state videos now here is an example technique which i find is very effective you need the will power strong intention determination very very strong interest and extreme curiosity these are the requirements plus the knowledge the basic knowledge which is what we discussed in the last 46 videos that is required and you also need awareness in the waking state and awareness in the dream state now you are ready to induce a projected state at will there are very good chances now that you will be successful if somebody tries to do it without any knowledge without much interest will power or any intention to get any knowledge or experiment if somebody is trying to do it just because it is fun or it is strange and i want strange experiences i want to meet ghosts and uh, spooky things then probably they are wasting their time nothing will be gained nothing will be achieved and there will be mostly a failure some people do that they enter a dream of some kind and then when they wake up they go into internet and they start asking people whether it was a projection or something else and i have seen in the 90% cases it is mostly a dream if you get into the projected state you will not need to ask anybody it is so obvious it is obvious as daylight if you are really ready to do the technique you should get up at 3 am in the morning now initially you will need to follow the instructions literally you cannot say that no i cannot get up at 3 am and that means and there is no guarantee now that the technique will work later on you can adjust the timings and you can even adjust the technique but to start with don't invent your technique try the techniques that are time tested that the great masters have used themselves you can make up your technique but don't do it initially when you get up at uh, 3 am brush your teeth drink the coffee and uh, walk around read something about uh, the spiritual topics read about the techniques watch this video or listen to the experiences of other people do it for at least 1 hour and then go back into pose at 4 am by this time your mind will be saturated with the will power intention and thoughts of nothing but projections nothing else will be there this is very helpful plus your body will be completely relaxed it has already taken the sleep and it is it is it will be very very easy for you to withdraw into the projected state it will be very easy for you to let go of the waking state forget the body now those who have too much attention in the body those who are body centric people they will need to do a ritual which is called the progressive relaxation starting from the feet and the toes you tense your muscles keep the muscles tensed for 5 seconds and then you relax your muscles and then from the feet you move upwards to the head and do at least two or three rounds of progressive relaxation and you will find that your body becomes like a stone it becomes very heavy almost ready to fall into sleep but you need to keep your awareness on and let the body do whatever it does let it change the state you are trying to do exactly that you are trying to put the body to sleep this method is also called the mind awake and body asleep method m a b a in short so once you have done the progressive relaxation shift your attention to breathing from the body don't keep your attention on the body this is very important this is the key but the breathing is also connected to the body so don't keep your attention on breathing for long keep it there for 5 minutes let us say 
and then shift your attention to the inner sound there is a ringing sound that is always going on in the ears there is a hissing sound which is not physical so that, that will be your next step towards non physical from the gross to breathing which is more subtle and then the inner sound which is even more subtle or if you are trying a mantra you like a mantra then the inner chant of the mantra the inner sound of the mantra you should push your attention there don't let your attention drift back in the world back in the body and here you will see that your practices are really working they are very useful now your attention practices use the exclusive attention now once you are comfortable with the inner sound shift your attention to the inner imagery imagine now here people may want to use emotions but i don't recommend that because emotions usually cause activity in the body physical body and you will wake up if the emotion is strong enough so keep an emotion of curiosity or you can say love or be neutral there is no need of any emotion really here be very curious just watch just watch what is going on don't try to participate in that and let the imagery continue if the imagery is static you will get bored so try something which is moving a moving spiral for example or if that is too dizzy for you moving clouds something like this a little animation that plays on and on and on will be good enough now keep the awareness here you should have an intention to be aware otherwise you will drift into a dream with the imagery it is not a big deal because you can use a natural technique and come back into awareness become lucid and launch into a projected state from there there will be a momentary loss of awareness um, blanking out will be there just like in the case of dreams if you recall but if you don't want that kind of gap it 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 will last for only second but some people don't want it for some reason if you don't want it keep the unbroken awareness and you will find that uh, your awareness will shift into a projected body instead of the physical body you will become aware of a projected body it can be a copy of the physical body There's nothing wrong in that but sometimes it is just a point of consciousness sometimes it is just a ball where there are no human like parts in that body you may want to call it the light body and you may find that it is glowing or it is like floating if you are new to these practices this ball will take on a shape of human there will be very rough features sometimes there will be fingers sometimes there won't be any fingers sometimes there will be feet sometimes no feet it is your mind trying to come back to your usual state or trying to give you a dream body because you are so habitual so you don't need to really worry about these things you know get any kind of body that it gives you and start your experiments you will need an intention to enter in a projected world if you are already doing these practices for many years you already know where the worlds are if you don't know just intend to go in some of the world which you heard from somebody or your teacher or just wish for a good experience and then the winds of the universal memory will take you to something some place remember it's not a place it's just a state the state will be changed into something which is uh, meaningful now here you can start your ex- experimentation or if you don't have any experiment in mind just experience and return so i don't need to tell you that that you need to return because it will happen it will happen in few seconds in few minutes for those who are just starting and it will happen within tens of minutes 20 30 minutes for those who are more experienced so for the newcomers it is recommended that you return quickly because if you stay there in that state for longer periods you will see that there is no memory of it awareness will be lost it will drift into darkness and when you return finally you will return with no memory except the memory that something strange happened so it is recommended that you return quickly from 
these states at least initially and then slowly increase the duration of your experiment the return will feel a bit strange and you will be disoriented but no problem this this is very natural it is usually like waking up from the sleep but if you are doing it with full awareness it does not look like that you slept the body will tell you that yes it is so relaxed and comfortable looks like that it went to sleep you will feel as if you were always awake it will look like a trip to some other city something like this it will be remembered and that is very important it is very important to remember and before you lose the memory of it you should write it down this is also important even the very seasoned seekers they write it down immediately or use your phone or recorder to quickly record the main events that happened and this is going to send signals to your intellect that these things are very important otherwise you will be lost in the waking state again so here you can see a little bit of differences from the dreaming experiments these experiments are kind of more involved and more serious we are trying to accomplish more here than simply dreaming and wish fulfillment so i am going to go into a little bit more um, details here which um, the things the events that can happen while you are trying to get into the projected state it is usually called separation so i am going to stick with this tradition that you are separating from the waking state the most important part of it is forgetting the physical body if your attention is still in the physical body if you are hearing through the ears physical ears if you are watching the darkness that is behind your eyelids if you can still feel your body the weight of the body or the bed or the chair or your sofa then your attention is in the waking state your attention is is in the physical world the death world that is not a good state to be in you need to forget all this and here your ability to shift your attention to any place anything will be of value it will be useful now here here is the use of those uh, practices that you did in the waking state if you have not done them then consider doing them because without the attention nothing is really obtained so this is the key forgetting the physical body and there will be a disconnection from the physical senses and it has very specific symptoms signs the first thing that you will notice and many people notice is a state called vibration state where you will feel as if your body is vibrating and as soon as you become alert and shift your attention to the body you will see that the body is peaceful it is relaxed it is not really vibrating it is a side effect of disconnecting from the senses of the physical body so sometimes it looks like a mild electric current sometimes it will be like swinging or uh, rotating or it will be like a mild earthquake and some people they just get alarmed and they wake up they stand up quickly because it looks like it is an earthquake it feels like an earthquake so if you are in a earthquake uh, prone area then you will probably not be able to tell any difference but don't worry you can ignore it and uh, these symptoms they will go away as you practice the next stage that will happen while you are separating is the floating state where it feels as if your body is weightless and as soon as you enter this state the mind is going to produce the corresponding imagery to fit the experience and you will see you will actually get a vision that you are floating but this will also fade away as your practices grow as you get more experience it is an illusion nothing is really floating it is only a change of the state and these imageries are a reaction of our uh, intellect or you can say mind it is trying to make sense of what is what is going on so the disconnection from the senses will produce the vibration effects forgetting of the body with complete awareness forces the mind to produce the floating imagery and the floating effects and uh, you will now connect to the non physical senses it is very very natural because there is no other way 
you will you cannot remain floating forever or you may want to come back to the waking state just to ensure that good uh, just to get a good grip of what is going on here and then you can go back in floating state you can do this many times just to get a good feel of it just to become accustomed of these uh, variations because usually we are not aware when these hap- these uh, sensations or symptoms when they happen so getting used to them is very important once you are in the floating state yes the senses are switched to something non physical and uh, there are corresponding signs of it such as noises you will hear very loud noises sometimes it is like a bomb blast in your head and these can startle people the newcomers there's nothing to worry if you lose the state and don't leave the pose don't leave the relaxed body don't get alarmed continue from wherever you are you're back in the waking state but you need to continue forward sometimes the sounds are like wind blowing in your ears sometimes you will hear the sea waves or shells sometimes it is uh, like many bells and you will say yes these sounds are surely of the bells but they are not really bells they, they are side effects of connecting to non physical senses sometimes it will be music very beautiful mi- music sometimes drums or bees and uh, something which is very common that you will hear voices you will hear loud voices people chit chatting around you and this can cause a little bit of fear and alarm initially but you you will get used to all these things sometimes these voices will call your name which must be a very common experience for many people even those who are not seekers even those who are not explorers when you are trying to fall asleep when you are falling asleep you will be woken up by a voice calling your name what is that just like i said these are the natural states the projected states are natural states and these things ha- do happen every night or whenever you go into sleep states so nothing to worry just ignore everything it is the common procedure that is going on here let it happen mechanically there is no need to intervene into to just to check what kind of music it is no there is no need to do that there is no need to answer the calls that these voices are calling now here you will find that uh, once the these noises are over there will be dead silence and it will be a silence which uh, will not be the silence that you know usually when we enter a silent place the outside noises are not there but there is always an inner noise in the ears the silence that you observe here will be devoid of any kind of noise the internal ear noise will not be there it is a silence which is completely dead so here you know that the separation is complete now you are no more in the waking state and your awareness is 100% on in this state is sometimes called the void because there is nothing here now if you like you can stay here for a while <laughs> there is not really productive you can get a sense of it how it is it is void but it is not nothingness there is you you are only with yourself here so it is also called sometimes the zero consciousness or the point consciousness state and this is like a doorway to the projected worlds so as soon as you are comfortable here you can either return or you can continue forward and uh, you can uh, activate the non physical senses by intention that the intention should be like this that i want to see something i want to hear xyz i want to get into this kind of environment that kind of environment or the last place i visited this will be your intention and with this intention the non physical senses will start activating you can also use the imagery like you can imagine a non physical screen or a hologram of some kind and then you enter into that screen and you will be in a non physical world a projected world here you can start your experiments or just experience around and what can you do here what can be experienced 
we are going to discuss that in the next part